Tonight, Cindy and I will meet up at the Hell House. Using projectors and audio recordings, we'll be attempting to virtually bring back the family in the house for the first time in decades. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna grab some gear. All right. something menacing here. You're already picking that up. Oh yeah, for sure. It's like game on. In order to reawaken the entity lurking inside the home, I'm setting up several trigger objects, pictures, projected photos, and audio recordings from 1975. If whatever happened out here is really attached to this family, I have no idea what's gonna happen. Okay. All right, I'm gonna grab some gear. All right. We're here right now. Let me show you one of the items that I have for tonight's investigation. Oh, this is the couple. Who's Harry? Harold. This is Harold. This is Mr. Pomeroy. Oh, oh my God, Cindy. My heart is exploding. I just see something happen. Did he have a heart attack? This what man happened? died of a heart attack. That's it. He, that's okay. And he went before, yes. before her. Um, she's so sad. And I keep feeling it has to do with the boys. Oh my God. Something's definitely moving in the adjacent room. The boys room, as a matter of fact. As you talk about the boys, this is Terry Pomeranian. Terry, I gotta talk about Terry. That kid, he wants to protect the mom or take care of her. He absolutely adored his mother, and his mother, Mabel, went through a lot of trauma here, you know? What was happening here was wearing her down to nothing. I Out see. here. That's just really strong. Each time Cindy taps into the family members, the entity responds. The trigger items seem to be working. It's time to up the stakes and bring our most powerful trigger object back to the Hell House. So I'm gonna play some of those audio recordings that I got from that university. Okay. And these were incidents, of course, that happened here in this house. Is it the fire we're hearing? Fire explosions. I just keep hearing he didn't do it. He didn't do it. Did they blame Dwayne for the fire? Dwayne was a suspect, I believe, in everything. He didn't do it. I'm hearing, Steve, it was the man behind him. What is happening right now? I think maybe we ought to stand over here for a moment. There's quite a uh, horrific story regarding a knife block. Look out! It lunged at a police officer. That's what happened. Okay, something is right there, Cindy. Motion sensor. This room is a lot of paranormal activity. It's, yes. it's a lot of poltergeist activity. When I stand here, I feel like there's an earthquake happening. Why do it? Did Dwayne go to prison or something? Did he get in trouble with the law? Both boys were suspects, and Dwayne was considered the number one suspect. He has demons. Yeah, Dwayne was very troubled. Oh, my God, the ovulus just went off. What did it say? Sun, wrong, devil. That thing just fired off response after response. Steve, can I ask you something? Is there any chance somebody did some sort of a sacrificial thing with an animal? 
I'm seeing something like that. Is it possible? Yes. I wouldn't take that off the table. I'm going to tell you exactly what I just heard. There was a presence of a spirit that had influence somehow on, I believe, Dwayne. I believe Dwayne could sense this spirit, this man, but I feel shape-shifting. I'm not saying it's actually a man. I don't know yet. I feel that Dwayne would speak to people that weren't there. He would be talking to spirits that nobody else could see, but he would be talking to them. Something was leading him. In my opinion right now, it's toying with us because it's showing us I can manipulate everything. I feel like the, the more like you're tuning in, tapping in, it's, it's like it's- so much. Like I don't even know where to begin other than I, I, like I'm getting so much stuff and it's coming at me from all directions. Please back up. I can't even like think. I need to step outside for a second because I can't work with all of this stuff going off. The evil entity is trying to force us out of the house to stop Cindy from tapping in and getting a clear vision. She must be getting close to the truth, so we're taking the investigation back outside, where Cindy's going to try a technique called scrying, using a mirror to see beyond the veil. I'm very interested to see what happens when you try this, especially how tapped in you are to this land. Yeah. So really, I'm just going to relax my gaze and really allow whatever impressions come to me. And it takes me a second to kind of get into it, but then I'll, I'll get going. Okay. Okay? Absolutely. Okay. <sighs> this is not what I expected to start seeing, but I keep seeing a house having its own life force. It's like the perfect storm, Steve. Underneath here, I feel like, I don't know if there's a rock bed or some sort of a elementals around here, but it drives it, it fuels it. Okay. The land is not cursed, but there's something, there's something fueling that fuels the poltergeist activity. It's, it feels, maybe it's elemental, I, I don't understand, but it's like, I feel like all these men marching towards me now. That's so wild. Like I'm looking over here and I just feel all of these spirits just walking towards me. There's been shadow figures seen. There's been faces. They're everywhere. The and I'm looking and I see them, not one. I'm seeing more than one. I need to come back again because I'm like, I'm at capacity, but there's a piece I'm missing. We gotta get to the bottom We gotta of get it. to the bottom of it. We, we've got to get to the bottom of it because we wanna find that piece. Okay.